Hello everyone, welcome to the 16th part of my Gary's Mod Lewis tutorial series. Today we're going to be talking about anti-cheats. This anti-cheat is going to be very basic, but what it's going to do is counter people that are bypassing SV allow CS Lua. If you don't know what SV allow CS Lua is, it essentially allows you to run scripts. So if it's set to zero um, on the server, you shouldn't be able to run scripts such as this cheat that I have here that gives the player an ESP. Um, and so to counter that, you would just go into your server here. You would set SV allow CS Lua to zero, and then nobody could uh, run their script. So if I go on game right now, and I try to do Lua underscore run, or sorry, not run, uh, open script CL, and then I do um, awesome cheat dot Lua, you see that nothing's really changed. Everything looks the same. Um, and to make this cheat run, all I would have to do is go into here and take this value and change this to one. I'm not going to explain how I did this um, because it's not uh, nice to cheat. So um, now I can go ahead and run this and now you can see running script awesome cheat and I can see where all the bots are. Um, and then just to disable this real quick, go here in my client, instead of calling look, just call or add, I'll call remove. And then I'm going to go back into here and set this back to zero. So that's a quick rundown on what we'll be able to fix and we can ban people if they're uh, bypassing it. So to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to be using net messages. So we're going to do util.add uh, network string and then we'll call this like check sv allow CS Lua. Okay, so we have this uh, net message and on the client, what we're going to do is we're going to essentially hook on to, um, I don't know, Hook that add init post entity. So whenever the player is initially, or sorry, whenever the entities are um, initialized, we're going to check uh, C vars, which I guess we can just call this for con vars. This, and then what we're going to do is we'll create a timer, and so we can create a check here um, that's going to run this um, every couple of seconds. So I'll just call this uh, anti cheat score check. Obviously, you can be a bit more um cryptic with your naming and then every i don't know maybe 10 seconds forever what we'll do is we'll start this net message here and we're going to send it to the server and the reason why we want to do this is because we're going to actually send some data to the server what are we going to be sending we're going to be sending a uh, convar value and so if we hop into uh the wiki here if you can see here, we got git convar, so we can do git convar, the string of the convar, and it's going to return the object, which is a convar object. And then with that object, we can call git bool. And then you can see if the value is numeric and not zero, the result will be true. Okay, so what we can do is we could say local, um, I don't know, uh, is enabled, and then we can say git convar, and then we're going to get the convar name which is going to be sv allow cs lua and then we can also go further and uh, now use this object and call uh, what was it git bool okay now we can do uh, net dot or sorry net dot write bool and we're going to write is enabled and so we're going to be setting this value here and then on the server side what we can do is essentially the same thing but we can compare the two values. So we can say um, local client enabled equals net dot read bool. Then we say local server enabled equals git convar, the same thing that we did before, and uh, sv allow CS Lua. And then we'll call git bool on this convar here. And we're going to say if server enabled is not equal to client enabled, then can take this player here and we can just print in the chat say hey we know you're cheating sorry I'm having a hard time typing here so we'll do POI chat print we'll say hey you're cheating uh, you're gonna get banned okay something like that so now this is pretty much our whole script here except uh, this actually isn't running so this code here will 
run whenever uh, the client connects. But to make this run now, I'm just going to create it in the scope of this file and save it. And so now this code is now running. Um, and so now this timer, this code that we've written here, is going to be executed because I saved the file. And now uh, we can see we get something to call fill send a nil value. Why? Oh, I'm doing send. It should be send to server. Excuse me. Uh, that was a mistake. It's been a while since I've written any code. So now I'm going to save this to re uh, create this timer here. And then after 10 seconds, it should um, execute. And I don't think anything is going to happen. It's because um, on here we have this set to zero. And then our server side is set to zero. But if I go ahead and go here now and change this to one, which would allow me to run the script, uh, after some time now, we should, hey, you're cheating, you're going to get banned. And so now that happened, and then the next 10 seconds, this should happen again. But I could go ahead and uh, disable it, and then it probably wouldn't run. But you can see, yeah, it's saying, hey, get banned. And then we have um, a snippet here from uh, ULX. If you guys are familiar with that, we could do uh, something like run console command, and then the command will be ULX, and then we can say ban ID, and then we can take the player's Steam ID, and then our ban length, we could do permanent, but usually it's good to just do like 30 minutes because some people might be trying to uh, use some form of crosshair or something that isn't too destructive, but you never know. So uh, that 30 minutes will be um, the ban length. And then here we'll say uh, potential cheater. So now if I save this, um, actually before I save this, I'm gonna just show you that I can run my cheat now. Um, and you can see I'm running the cheat. Then I'm going to save the server uh, side file here. And then you'll see that I'm most likely going to get banned from my own server in a couple of seconds. And voila, potential cheater, 30 minutes. Um, and so just to recap what this is, we take our client value here, uh, which is this convar. We send it to the server. And then on the server, we can pair both values. And if they're not the same, we can ban the user. Also understand that this is very primitive. So um, this won't make a good sturdy anti-cheat, but it is a good way to get the ball rolling. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the next video when we get a little bit more in depth with this anti-cheat. But for now, that is it. So I hope you guys have a great night and take care.